Hey everybody, Mox with the Comics, and I'm back. This time with some pickups from Saturday's free comic book day, and I went to an antique shop as well. Plus, I got a mail call, a slab that came in mysteriously I was not expecting. If you want to see what I got, stay tuned for that intro. So I'm back. Like I said, ended up going to free comic book day. Just went to one shop. Didn't bother going to different shops because I ended up getting, you know, the two books I wanted. Um, so I'll show you the free comic book day books and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So I went to a shop I hadn't gone to in a while and it's called the Toy Wall. It's in the, uh, it's in the Warwick Mall in uh, Warwick, Rhode Island, if you're not familiar with the area. But um, I hadn't been there in a while, and I talked to the shop owner, and he was like, well, we're limiting one book per customer. I brought my son with me, so he ended up, you can get two books, and I mean like two books total. So <laughs> there was a few a few books I wanted to pick up, but um, like I said, since he limited the customer to only those two books, it is what it is. So I'll show you what books I ended up getting. I got We Live, The Last Days, free comic book day edition, and uh, pretty cool. They put their uh, logo there, their, st their stamp, compliments of Toy Vault, and uh, the other book I had to get, couldn't pass up on, is Enter the House of Slaughter. Obviously, there's a lot of hype between this book. That's, you know, the series coming out. I think it's in October, but i um, been reading the series right along, Something is Killing the Children. So I definitely had to pick this up and when I was looking they only had like maybe 10 to 12 copies So uh, I was definitely happy to pick this up and uh, Let me get, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. Are you guys a fan of, of these uh, store stickers there? Or are you more of like you like it when it's just blank? Um, I saw a lot of videos on YouTube of people posting about their free comic book they pull and a lot of them didn't have stamps on them and me personally I'm not a big fan of these store stamps on here if you're gonna do a stamp uh, I want it more on the nostalgic side do it like they did back in the 60s 70s and put the actual date stamp on there I don't like the uh, the actual store stamp but that's just me let me know what you guys think down below and uh, before we get into the books I got for um, the antique shop I went to and the mail call if you don't like this video and subscribe to the channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a montage video of me licking old comic books. So <laughs> unless you want to see that, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, I did recently do my favorite video on beer and comics and it was by far one of the lowest viewed videos I've had in quite some time and I was like what is going on maybe it's YouTube uh, playing around with their algorithms again because even my wife subscribed to the channel and she didn't even get the notification so unless you want to see me upload a, a slow montage of me looking old comics like the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel <laughs> all right moving on um, so I only, like I said, I only went to one shop for the free comic book day. Uh, I was hanging out with the little guy all afternoon. And then I found out there was a new antique shop. I hadn't, you know, had the chance to go check out. And this was in the uh, East Providence, Rumford area, Rivers, Riverside, Rumford area. Right by the water. And I uh, waited for the little guy to wake up. And it was basically like a collectible store. He had cards sports memorabilia action figures and like maybe seven or eight long boxes so i was like all right the little guy was playing with some action figures while i was doing some uh, hunting there and i found four books cheap it gave me a good discount um and so i'll show you the books i got i picked up i hadn't seen this cover in a while before but they had spawn issue 101 Really nice cover. I want to say this is Capullo, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. T. 
either Kapoor or Todd McFarlane. But um, got one, two, three copies. They were two fifty a piece. And uh, as you know, the Spawn books from like I want to say issues ninety nine to like I think two forty, depending on the issue, they're really low print. So uh, whenever you find them in the wild, pick them up. And like I said, for two fifty, they're cover price for this time. Um, and then the last book I ended up getting there is a nice, uh, I think it's copper or late bronze. I always forget around the early 80s. But um, picked up a Defenders issue number 112. This is a newsstand copy, which doesn't really matter for the early 1980s. Um, but uh, this is the first appearance of Power Princess and the first appearance of Arcana Jones, which later becomes Moonglow. So uh, for three bucks, couldn't pass that up. Um, I know my buddy Mike, Night Tiger, shout out to you, bud. He's uh, trying to collect some more of the Defenders books. So if that's uh, a book you're after, let me know. I'll send that your way. And then, like I said, ended up getting uh, a slab mail call. Wasn't expecting this, it came uh, on Saturday, right when I got home, I opened it up. It was already, the box was partially open. I was like, what's going on here? Somebody uh, tampered with the with the package, but luckily the case was not damaged. Uh, I'll save you the, the timing. I already opened up the package. I just feel like it makes it easier for uh, editing when you don't have to already uh, edit out some of the uh, annoying noises from uh, unboxing a, you know, a package. So this is my um, my first Venom slab in the uh, that I have in the PC. I used to have an ASM 300, but that's been long gone. So um, I don't have any of these from Donny Cates run. So this is the first one in the collection. And boom, Venom issue number 25. And uh, if you look closely, if I get that glare out of the way, it's the second printing. And this is one of obviously the newer slabs. And if you listen closely, you can hear the inner the inner casing shift a little bit. And that was basically uh, CGC's way to get rid of the uh, Sir Newton's rings, as I like to call them. <laughs> but you can hear the little there's something in there jiggling around there. It almost hears like this stuff in there, but. Um, Really cool to get this in the mail. Surprisingly, was not expecting this um, A-OK -okay to come in. But um, Venom number 25, second printing. I believe this is the first appearance of Virus, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hopefully, when I get those Venom 3s back in the mail from uh, Terrificon, those will be my second and third uh, Venom slabs in the collection. So, like I said, that's it for uh, Saturday's pickups. If you like that, like I said, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, until next time, Mark's Prep the Comics, out.